Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to my reaction video for the final um, Smash Bros. video presentation. Uh, I will be not including the chat in this video this time, and instead will just include the stream. And yeah, this is, will all be my live reactions. It's currently like 19 minutes until the start, so I it's it's gonna be a while. I'll just keep recording, but not really say anything until the start. But yeah, Ugh. this is going to be very interesting. Also, I apologize for the lagginess on the last reaction video, and probably it will be here too. Um, I apologize. It's just the settings that I have on OBS, and I don't know what to change in order to keep the quality but not have lag so yeah my video will be very delayed or not delayed but just low frame rate but yeah um also i will be by myself today and not with another person like i was last time so yeah i have no idea what to expect there was a small leak um that occurred this morning after the first update um, happened, but it only included details such as like certain me costumes as well as the um, additional costumes for Cloud. So, which all kind of suck, honestly. But yeah, that's all I know so far, and all like pretty much all of us know so far. Yeah. Right now it's 5:42. It's a pro it's going to be approximately 33 minutes in length, which is going to be a ton of content. Yeah. Also, I will also I will be uh, tweeting about this as well. So if you hear, so if you hear uh, th this, that'll be uh, my keyboard because my keyboard is loud. Yeah. I will see you guys there. Okay, so two minutes till the direct. Ugh, oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking in the background. It's really, it's really, uh, squeaky. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yes, I'm so excited, 458, uh, oh my gosh, oh, it's unreal, 81,547 people watching this right now, that's just the people who are watching on the Twitch chat and also have accounts, there's probably thousands more people probably thousands more people watching without accounts or on the other websites. So I'd estimate roughly 100,000 100, people are watching this right now. Which is crazy. 4.59. One minute. One minute. One minute. I ichifun or no ipun that's Japanese for one minute I think I'm probably terrible at Japanese but yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't I'm going in with very few predictions just so I don't get mega disappointed when they don't happen My body is completely reggy. I also kind of have to pee, but no. Smash Bros. is more important. It's five. Oh, it started right away! Three, two, one. Is this a new trailer? This way. New Fire Emblem character? Big brother? He's my brother! We're 
your family. What? <laughs> Are these? I'm so sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice but to. Oh my gosh! Oh, nice. Join Smash. Corin chooses to smash. What are you doing? Yeah, Corin. Sorry, big brother. I've made my decision. How could you? You're giving up on us and battling completely unknown opponents. Whoa, that... they look tough. Not a problem for my big brother. Not He's like a ninja almost. I've never seen. Oh, that looks painful. Huh. He's using Dragon Fang. What? What is this? Dragons. Are these just specials? He's really mastered, hasn't he? What did you expect? Are those warriors of the Out Realms? Not to worry. Oh my gosh, my stream is so terrible quality. I'm sorry, but holy crap. Who is this? Is this from the new Fire Emblem game? Leave some for me. Is it, is it a female version? Big brother is now big sister. Wow, even better. Holy crap! I've decided. My path is to take on the legendary heroes of Smash. Wow! <laughs> I was speechless throughout that pretty much, but wow! <laughs> this guy looks really cool. Corin. <laughs> what is that? I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, the director of Super Smash Bros. Sakurai! Thank you for waiting. This will be the last video presentation of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. I hope you'll enjoy this finale. Finale. The main character from Fire Emblem Fates, Corrin, will be joining the fight. He's not even wearing any shoes! How did he get in? thought to include someone from this upcoming game. That's how we decided to begin production on Corrin. It's been a while since the new Fire Emblem title launched in Japan, but we're now just a couple months away from launching it in the rest of the world. So you'll get a chance to become familiar with Corrin before you play the game. As with Wii Fit Trainer and Robin, you can choose to play as a male or female version of Corrin. Both perform exactly the same, so it's all up to personal preference. You may notice the sword in Corrin's hand. It's the final form of the weapon Yato, called Omega Yato. However, that is not his primary way of fighting. Hmm. Corrin has the blood of a dragon in his veins, and this lets him transform. This ability allows him to pull off attacks that no other fighter can. He's capable of changing entirely into a dragon, but some of his moves transform only some parts of his body. His side smash attack has tremendous reach. Holy crap! That's the tip of this attack is especially powerful, so consider how far you are from your opponent when you use it. When using back air attacks, Corrin brief sprouts wings. He moves forward when his wings appear, which may just give you the extra boost you need when recovering. After activating a dragon attack, his head changes in appearance. Huh. Corrin's standard special can be charged up by pressing and holding the B button, the dragon fang shot. I, I seriously you don't mind it, your the will be multiple, for a bit. what is it, uh, fire and firing, characters. Transformed hand can also bite I really don't. It's opponent. just as long as they aren't Marth clones, like this like the Cena. Can also be charged it's fine. In fact, e -button. This all of the Fire Emblem characters, I'd really like to return really in the next Smash game if there is one, Corrin's except for Lucina. special is a jump followed by a low thrust to the side, the Dragon Lunge. This is not just a simple thrust. If you can stick your weapon in the ground successfully, you can remain hanging where you are. 
You can even pin your foe in place with what? this move. What? How is that even useful, though? It doesn't look like After he can do anything. Pinning them, you can use a front kick, back kick, jump, or cancel. Pin your opponent, then decide what to do based on the situation. <laughs> the up special puts Korin's wings to work. Dragon Ascent. Oh. At full wingspan, Korin has a wide attack range. This character looks. You can control. This character looks actually really cool. Too. Use it wisely. I have no idea how to play Corrin's him though. Down special attack is counter surge. It's a counter move familiar to fans of the Fire Emblem fighters. One big difference is a visual one: the dragon transformation. Look carefully, and you can see that the opponent's attack doesn't reach you. Other differences include being able to launch opponents upward and attack left and hmm. right equally. Corrin's final smash is wow. Torrential Roar. You can pull in several nearby opponents with a whirl right. water and then finish them off all at once. Is that his final smash? Yeah, it looks like it. There is no exclusive stage for this new fighter. What about new music then, you say? Yes, if you purchase Corrin for the Wii U version, you can get two additional music tracks for free. Hmm. The first one is the Fire Emblem Fate theme song, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. It includes vocals. The other is a remixed version of the same song we did in the new Challenger video hmm. earlier. Both songs will be added to the existing Fire Emblem stages, so you can adjust odds of them playing in my music. In the Nintendo 3DS version, as a special bonus, we added trophies of Ryoma and Xander from wow. Fire Emblem Fates. They are the eldest brothers from the Hoshido and Nor kingdoms, respectively. Korin's new challenger illustration was created by Yusuke Kozaki, who is taking care of character designs for Fire Emblem Fates. This is his. This is quite the opening to the Nintendo his Direct. First was for Robin. Please check oh. it out on the official website. We're targeting a February twenty. February for Corin. February. <laughs> we will announce the exact date later on the official website. February. Oh, here comes Cloud. From the Final Fantasy series, Cloud Strife will soon join in the battle. Adding this character seemed all but impossible, but we made it happen. We have a lot of requests for Final Fantasy characters to join Smash Brothers, but of all of them, Cloud has been requested the most. Cloud will be available download as a Super Smash Brothers fighter soon. I have some information to share about him as well. Soon! <laughs> as soon! Cloud deftly handles a buster sword as big as his body, but we've weaved in some unique moves and elements too. His side smash will unleash a high-speed three-hit chain attack. Watch his sword move at lightning speed. The sound effect that plays when he hits is inspired by the original game. Wow. And the two types of costumes include the original from Final Fantasy VII and one from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. The Advent Children costume has a version with the sleeve covering the Geo Stigma on his left arm and a version without. Such detail. Such detail. An especially unique feature to this fighter is his limp break. A limp gate will fill up as you receive damage or attack opponents. It's similar to the max KO gauge, but it isn't normally visible. Hmm. However, you can charge up the limit gauge with Cloud's down special attack while checking in on this meter. Huh. That's interesting. When the gauge is maxed out, his limit break will be activated. This will surround Cloud in a blue aura, slightly increasing his stats. And, for one use only, each of his special attacks will be replaced with limit break versions. Cloud's standard special is Blade Beam. Huh. This is a wave bullet that moves along the ground, and it has a wide attack range. You can use it in the air as well, but it's more powerful on the ground. Okay. The limit break Makes version sense. of this special attack leads to a combo hit and a stronger launch. His side special is Cross Slash. It's Cloud's specialized sword move. By pressing the button three times when hitting an opponent, 
you can complete the Japanese word Kyo. It has high attack power, but if the opponent uses their shield, it will create an opening for them to attack just before you finish the combo. Ah, so you have to press buttons. In addition buttons. to the damage, the limited version has more launch power. The up special is Climb Hazard. Climb Hazard. Strike the opponent, ascend, then press the button again to fall and strike at high speed. When recovering, make sure not to press the button a second time. The limit break version climbs much higher. The extra height is especially useful when recovering. Wow! Than <laughs> Holy crap! That is like you'll want that to is a lot. Break for later, but get launched before you can actually use it. Often you end up having no choice but to use limit break to recover. Holy! The down special is limit charge. With this move, you can manually charge the limit gauge. However, when the limit gauge is fully charged, the down special becomes a completely different move called finishing touch. I really like this presentation. This move only causes 1% damage, but its launch power is extremely strong. Percent. <laughs> accumulated a certain amount of damage, better watch out. And of course, his final smash is Omni Slash. Perform a special combo attack on the opponent. Then crush them completely with this move. Cloud had to have this move, am I right? Am I right? Here's the new stage, Midgar. It's a location you'll recognize from early on in Final Fantasy VII. Both the Mako Reactor and the Shinra building can be seen here. It definitely has that cyberpunk feel. Here, summon materia will appear, and the fighter who acquires it will be able to use summons. Most of these summoned monsters thing. will do something that changes the terrain, rather than directly attacking players. Ifrit Ifrit creates an inferno that moves the terrain itself. When you touch the fire, you will be damaged. Stay alert and use strategic elements of the stage to your advantage. <laughs> Ramu. Ramu manipulates floating terrain. It's been 12 minutes. Lightning. We're like halfway done with and this, and only like two characters have been like announced. But you'll take damage. Oh. Well. Also, oh, the platforms the move too. Summon him will remain unharmed. Odin. 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 Can cut the stage in half with a single slice. You can avoid this attack, but if you don't, expect to be instantly KO'd. The split in the stage is a good place to perform a meteor smash. Make sure oh! you're <laughs> caught in the middle when the stage is <laughs> back together. <laughs> Leviathan. Leviathan floods the stage with water, which flows from right to left. The difference between Midgar and other stages with rapid currents is that if you're swept away by water, the fighter who summoned Leviathan will get points. Huh. Bahamut Zero. From high above, Bahamut Zero fires a devastating attack. It's an area of effect attack, and the flare will continue for a while, so the fighter who summoned him should try to force opponents into the blast. Whoever collected the summon materia will get a point wow. for any fighters launched to their doom by summons. Try to get as much summon Where's materia Wolf? as you can. We created Cloud and the Midgar stage for the Nintendo 3DS version as well. Of course, you can Why would they that not too. Why would they not be on the 3DS? Cloud's new challenger artwork was created by Tetsuya Nomura himself. I really appreciate that Mr. Nomura, who did the original design, also created the illustrations this time. Oh, this looks cool. It's really rare to see Nintendo characters in this style, and it's groundbreaking that a fight between Link and Cloud has been officially drawn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cloud will become available later today. Hours of this presentation. <laughs> later today. The has begun. You may experience some wait times due to high server demand. Please bear with us. The price for Cloud and the Midgar stage is shown here. I hope you'll enjoy playing as Cloud, who miraculously joined the fight from Final Fantasy. This is the Final Fantasy? At the same time as Cloud, we will release a Chocobo hat for Mii Fighters. You can use it to dress up your Mii Fighter.
and thanks to our relationship with Square Enix, we will release another Mii Fighter costume. Gino, it's gonna be Gino. Gino's not a character. Gino is. Gino is a Mii Fighter. RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. We're adding a Gino Mii Fighter. Like the me gunner, mm. Gino shoots from a gun on his arm, so it's a natural hit. Since this is our last presentation, here are the final me fighter costumes. Okay. Wave three? It's gonna be wave three. Okay, we already know that one. Available later today, okay. So the Square Enix stuff are gonna be later today. Yeah, we already know about the chocobo hat. <laughs> yeah. Bionic armor. Okay. Doesn't seem to be from anything. <laughs> what was that? Some. Wait, what? Was that a character? Was that a character? Sonic Tails me costume <laughs> Tails and Knuckles <laughs> Oh my gosh This <laughs> <laughs> well, what a way to end the Mii Fighter costumes. What a way. By the way, Mii Fighters we showed in the past sometimes look like they have similar faces to the original character in the intro videos and screenshots. On the official website, we have QR code patterns for some of these characters. If you download the Mii characters through these, you can quickly create pretty solid look-alike fighters. So please use them if you're interested. Okay. That's interesting. It's been almost one year since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. However, this is finally the climax. The climax! Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. The last fighter! Please take a look at the final new challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Red. Red Severin. Red Severin. What? Two down! Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Who is this? Bayonetta! It's Bayonetta! It's Bayonetta! Bayonetta! Wow. Who is that, Lady Palatina? It's an Umber Witch. I thought they were extinct. Cheeky. Alpha Red. Especially coming from an endangered species. Alpha Red is gonna be so happy. Watch out for her bullet arts. She uses four guns. Wow. I like it when they are good. Where is Alfred's tweet? I need to retweet this. Wicked weaves attacks are the lips of demons. Gotcha. Wow. What a. What a climax! But no wolf. <laughs> no wolf. Oh, Kirby's costume. I'm gonna need like a review on all of these characters because there's no way I I'll be able to keep track of all these characters right now. What are we at? Like 60 characters? Don't 
could tell you're done already. She's so tough! Don't be such a wimp! Time for the best part. Smashing! That's Gamora. She can also Holy! My heart is beating so fast right now, and I haven't even played or watched anything from Bayonetta. Don't mess with a witch. Holy! The Umber Witch who hunts angels, Bayonetta. She's finally joining the battle. We've been asking for your opinion on That's the Super cool Smash logo. Brothers fighter ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. In Cloud North looks America, so sad. She was among the top five. Top five in U.S. This number one in Europe. Even fighters from previous games in the series. Among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice worldwide. Overall, the number. <laughs> Bayonetta is a fighter with many characteristics based on the original game. Sakurai's red glasses! The more you can feel that she moves like the character in the original game. First of all, she is a combo fighter. And not just weak attacks. Even her strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on can land multiple hits. However, her combos are a bit slow to start. This is also similar to the original games. Each special move can strike multiple times, so wow. you should be able to perform some very elegant aerial combo attacks, Bayonetta style. Hmm. After an attack, press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is programmed into almost all of <laughs> Bayonetta's moves, so you can fire even in the middle of combo attacks. Holy. However, the shots themselves won't slow enemies down, so you have to watch out for counterattacks. Bayonetta is equipped with four guns, one on each of her hand and feet, so she can shoot whether she's punching or kicking. It's possible to inflict additional Smash 4 is probably the oh Kirby <laughs> or steal point by Smash 4 is gonna be the most jank stage. game for competitive. The guns from Bayonetta 2 are like seriously, so Bayonetta many of these the characters the are going are to be Star crazy in competitive play. All four guns in each set have I haven't even been games. paying attention, I'm sorry. Here's her wicked weaves. For this attack, she uses her hair as a conduit summon the limbs of the infernal demon madama butterfly it's her smash attack and it's huge by any measure S that's a smash attack when used at the edge of a stage her down smash attack is massively effective this is bayonetta's signature move which time it reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time this is her down special attack, and it's activated like a counterattack. While your opponent is moving slowly, strike back. We can't make the entire game slow down every time she uses Witch Time, so instead, it only slows down the opponent you're counting. Poor Corn. The length of slowdown time is determined by several factors. The higher the opponent's accumulated What's the other damage, character? the longer the effect. But if you use it repeatedly, its effect will be shorter. When Witch Time is triggered late, Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. Bat Within protects Bayonetta even when her dodge move is about to fail. Many of her signature visual effects appear as well, adding a bit of flashiness to brawls. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. And aerial jumps show off her butterfly wings. During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shell is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too, so you can dance if you want to. Bayonetta Project. has two costumes. There's the blue costume from Bayonetta 2, featuring her shorter hair, and the A Witch with No Memories costume from the original Bayonetta. <laughs> There's also a color variation inspired by Jean. 
Bayonetta's standard tilt is its bullet climax. There's still more to this character? Her hands or her feet. The guns always shoot slightly upward, but you fire continuously. This... <laughs> this... Also, this game has... The button, this attack will charge oh, what did I just do? Crap. If on the ground, her side special is heel slide. Holy crap. By holding the button, what? you add a kick at the end. This what has this game become? I mean, I'm not mad. I'm very happy that there are more... Characters coming, but like what? So many different characters instead. coming. This is the first time uh, that the name of the move changes depending uh, on where you I still am not it. paying attention because if there's just so much to. The air with afterburner, uh, kick, you can then strike with another one. Also, if you use the afterburner kick after pressing uh, down, then you can angle it diagonally downward. Let's just say if you often use reuse traditional Hadouken command, it should be easy to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Oh my is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it, and you can use it once again mid-jump. What? If you keep holding the button, you can shoot too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump, and which twist again on top of that. You oh can my even God. add in airborne combos and an afterburner kick after using which twist too. However, the more moves you add, the larger the opening you'll leave when you finally land, so be careful. Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. Her final smash is Infernal Climax. The way this move activates is also very unique. First, <laughs> first there's Ryu, and now and the entire screen slows there's down. Bayonetta, who the seems to, to they seem to be making those two characters completely based full, competitively. You summon the infernal demon Gamora, who will lunge for any opponents you attack while maxing out the gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is Cloud's, over 100, Cloud's uh, icon looks pretty cool though. So it works. It's just FF done. though, but it's still pretty nice. You can also throw in multiple opponents at once. Please try it out. New stage. There's also a Bayonetta stage, Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, wow. the Falling Clock Tower. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right next to it just to mix things Is up. Is this going to be at like a, a, to an alt- no. Utilize the terrain well. In the middle of a match, once you enter the alternate world, Purgatorio, you'll see an army of angels, and once you pack, you won't see them anymore. Angels like Inspired <laughs> and Fortitudo have guest appearances as well. For the Wii U version, we picked some memorable songs from both the original and Bayonetta 2. There are so also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Bros. We hope you enjoy them. In addition to Bayonetta, we created Jean, Rodan, and Cereza trophies as well. If you purchase and download Bayonetta in Super Smash Bros., you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development team member Eiji Funahashi. Wow. It's an impressive work showcasing the fight between light and dark, so oh, take the some time got to their mask. all the details on the official website. Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. We'll need a little more time, so please be patient until she is released. Just like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Once it's finalized, we will announce the exact release date on the official website. And now, we have some news about Amiibo. Amiibo! Amiibo of Ryu, Roy, yes, and Roy Amiibo! With his Famicom <laughs> yes! Yes! Will be released on March 18th, 2016. No! Please stay tuned for retailer and pre-order information. And we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three fighters that we covered today, Cloud, Corin, and Bayonetta. 
Each of them will have amiibo figures. <laughs> Just their release dates are still Bandit Amiibo! Cloud Strife Amiibo! Ryu from Street Fighter Amiibo! Who would have ever thought? Each of the newly announced fighters, Corin, Cloud, and Bayonetta, have specific characteristics and skills. Their battle style are all unique as well. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy playing as them and fighting against them. It's been over a year since we finished development of the original game. We've continued to develop new fighters and stages, and it's created a huge volume of content. The total number of fighters is 58. Counting the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions together, the total number of stages is 58 84. fighters, 84 and stages. The male and female versions together, the total number of Mii Fighter costumes is 99. There are 97 hats. The total number of trophies is 743 for Wii U and 707 for Nintendo 3DS. The total number of music tracks, such as stage music, is 507, <sighs> victory jingles and the like aside. I believe these are record high numbers for a competitive action game. Holy! In terms of sales, it's certainly best to create unloadable content while developing the original game, then release them close to the game's launch. But for this specific title, created downloadable content from scratch after finishing the original game's development. Each piece of content requires intense work. Without your support, we couldn't have made it. Thank you so much. Three returners, four newcomers. In Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a variety of fighters have appeared, making possible certain matchups we never would have imagined. We hope all of these characters will continue to make great appearances in many titles to come. I greatly appreciate the developers of each game featured and the fans. Holy crap. And with that, I thank you. Bye, Sakurai! Holy crap! Oh my gosh. What a poignant ending. Oh, this is the steel we agree with. Oh. This is quite oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been recording for 52 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sakurai. Oh. <sighs>